Ramadan, Ramadan, Ramadan. Ramadan Mubarak, everybody. Not sure if I said it right, but yeah. All right, I'm gonna talk to you guys today about my first time fasting Ramadan, you know, because I have no religion, you know, as you guys can tell from the title and also the thumbnail. I claim no religion, stuff like that. But my friend, she's a girl, she's like, like honestly, she's a good friend. She's like a sister to me, you know. Um, she wanted me to start fasting, you know. She wanted me to start fasting. She told me to uh, celebrate Ramadan with her. Uh, I wanted to do it. I seen it. I seen it on her uh, post. She posted it up on her Instagram. You guys can follow her on Instagram, man. Uh, her Instagram is about to show up, though. But just, just it, it, I feel at peace of mind, you know. I feel good. I feel great. Uh, there's nothing to it, to be honest with you. Nothing to it to be fasting. And I'm going to give thanks to my friend Narges, man. Her name is Narges. Uh, she's from Morocco. Um, her Instagram is right here. You guys can follow her on Instagram. So she posts a lot of videos. You know, she posts a lot. She posts videos, a lot of Muslim quotes, um, just things like that in general. Religious thing, non-religious thing. She's a very wise girl, very smart girl. She's the smartest person. Should I say smartest person? I know a lot of smart people, but she's the smartest woman that I know. Honestly, she's the smartest woman that I know. She's 18 years old. She's from Morocco. You guys can follow her on Instagram. Uh, I will leave, I'll leave her Instagram link down in the description below so you guys can check that out. Uh, intelligent. She does martial arts, swords, martial arts. I do martial arts just by by itself without any swords. You know, she's really good with the swords. She got videos of her sword fighting and stuff like that. She went to France, all kinds of things. Won trophies in France and sword fighting. She speaks, I think, three different languages English, Arabic, and French. Uh, it's very cultural, you know. She loves her religion. Being good to me. But anyway, enough talking about her. Let's get about this. Ramadan. Mubarak. And guys, <laughs> this is my first time actually fasting, man. Like I said before, it's nothing to it. A lot of people talking about, oh, man, you're going to die, boy. You talking about fasting for 30 days. Oh, man, you're going to die, this, 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 and that. And I, excuse me if you guys hear the tips and noise in the background. Excuse me for that. But... People are talking about some bad stuff about fasting, man. I'm like, okay, I want to give it a challenge. Uh, Norris is talking about, I'm not going to last. So, in my opinion, I'm going to last, you know. I, I like a challenge, you know. I'm not the type of person that will shy away from a challenge. I'm not, I'm not the type of person that hates challenges. I love to challenge myself. I love to push myself. That's one thing about me that a lot of people respect. I love to push myself to the limit. I love to push myself. I love to motivate myself and motivate others. This is not a challenge to me. This is something that I'm, I want to do. This is something I want to cleanse my soul, cleanse my body, um, and just help my mind stay at peace, you know, because I got a lot of anger in my mind. I got a lot of frustration, um, a lot of sin and bad things I be thinking about, you know? Like, I'm not a religious person, like I said before. I'm not the most holiest person. I cuss. I do do all kinds of other things, you know? Uh, last night, I did something that I'm not proud of and stuff like that, you know? But I'm trying to get better. Um, uh, this is the most I ever prayed five times a day. I, 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 the most time I pray is like two times a day, to be honest with you. Five times a, five times a day is kind of crazy, but I get used to it. Uh, but she showed me the Muslim prayer. She showed me how to pray and stuff like that. So I'm using that. Uh, I got the, uh, Muslim pro app. <laughs> The Muslim pro out that tells me the time when to pray because I don't know the time to pray. Uh, five times a day, so the time comes and like back to back to back to back. So I'm like, dang, I just got finished praying. I gotta pray again. Could a dude go off on the um, notification, right? It's the Muslim dudes uh, calling for prayer, you know? So I do that. And yeah, man, that's, that's my friend right there, uh, Narges. She's beautiful. She's beautiful forever. The most beautiful creature I've seen on this planet, boy. And hats off to her. She's a good person, man. Love her to death. She's like a sister to me. So, guys, make sure you go follow her, man. Go to the link down below in the description or type in her name on Instagram. Follow her. She's a great, wise, Muslim woman. G, like, she honestly could be a teacher, man. She can honestly teach people how to be a great person. And, like, she tried to convince me to be a Muslim, but <laughs> it wasn't working yet, no? And let me get to talking about Islam and Judaism and Christianity and all that type of stuff like that. Um, me, I choose not to have a religion because all of these religions are fighting against each other under one God. Like when I see religions fighting against each other, talking about we're the right way, we the right way, we the right way, this is the right path you should go. 
I just stop and think to myself and be like, what the hell? What, what is God thinking about this? Like, God looking down below, looking down above, <laughs> looking down on us and like, what's wrong with my people? Why are my people so corrupt? I watched a pastor preach. The pastor said, Lucifer and his army is not corrupt as God's army. We do not have order in the house of God. We do not have order in the house of God. Like, honestly, we don't. Christians fighting against the Jews, Jews fighting against Muslims, we all corrupted. There's no order in here. So Lucifer is winning. And like they said before, Lucifer is the God of this earth because this earth is so corrupted and wicked. And back to the right path and stuff like that about religious. I hate that. I honestly hate it when a person tells me that their religion is the right way to God. Okay, let me give you a, let me, let, me, let, me, let me come up with a scenario real quick. All right. It's just like saying, okay, take this road to get to the store. This is the right road to get to the store. Nah, take this road to the store. This is the right road to get to the store. This is the only road to get to the store. My dude, but there's another road to get to the store. Like, what are you trying to talk about? This is the only road. This is the road you should go down. Why should I go down that road when both roads lead me to the store? Like, come on, dude. Like, why would I take one way when all the ways can get me to the place that I'm trying to get to? If you're trying to go to hell, you can take out any, any, any route you want to get to hell. You will make it there. And you can take any route you want to get to heaven. And you will make it there. Any route. Worship God. Religion. God didn't create religion. Man created religion, to be honest with you. Muslim created religion. Muhammad did. God didn't create religion. That's, a that's, 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 that's what I read, you know. That's what I know. Um, God didn't create religion. Back, back before religion was created, back with the Hebrews and Israelites, there was no religion. Abraham, uh, Isaac, and all of them, they just worship God without a religion. That's how it should be, in my opinion. But right now, Ramadan Mubarak, <laughs> fasting life, it's not bad. It's good. I love it. it Give me a peace of mind again, like I said before. Um, I'm loving it, man. There's nothing to it. A lot of people think that it's going to be hard not eating for like half a day. What you want to say, like eating until sundown. Like it's nothing to it, honestly. You just wake up in the morning. You probably be hungry when you wake up. So that's why I advise you to wake up like an hour early before your first prayer, before before your fasting begins. Just wake up, eat, smash a bunch of food, then go back to sleep. Then siren go off for the prayer sit down and pray or you can stay up until prayer because prayer go off like four o'clock in the morning um where i'm at four o'clock in the morning so i pray uh eat like 30 minutes or an hour before so i wake up at like three o'clock in the night wake up eat drink a bunch of water so i could be hydrated through the morning so i won't be feeling tired weak sluggish dehydrated and stuff like that uh right now i'm probably wearing myself out and i gotta work out today so <laughs> I'm going to work out after I eat. I'm going to eat a meal. Then I'm going to wait like 20 minutes. I'm going to work out because I'm on a weight gain diet. And my weight gain diet is being interrupted by this because I decided to take on a challenge. And it's not only a challenge to me. It's a way of me trying to better myself in the way of God. Allah. Yahweh. Whatever you want to call him. You know? But, again, I respect Muslim people. I love Muslim people. I'm thinking about going to a mosque you know i live in mississippi so there's not that many muslims out here there's a bunch of christians it's a church on every block honestly there's a church on every block in mississippi you cannot go across the, you can't go down the street without seeing a church but you can go miles without seeing a, a synagogue or a mosque like honestly dude it's just crazy there's only one synagogue in jackson mississippi there's only one synagogue in central mississippi to be honest with you there's like I think like three Muslim temples, uh, mosque, mosque in uh, Mississippi, three Muslim mosques in Mississippi, uh, spread it far apart, you know. Uh, I'm trying to find one, not sure if I can find one, but pretty sure we got one here. Islam is a, Islam is a growing uh, religion and stuff like that. But uh, Ramadan is great, you know, to help you get away your bad sins, try to do good, try to give back to people who less fortunate than you, who's not fortunate as you, who don't have what you have, give back to the community, help people out, be humble, preach good words and, and wisdom to people, you know, like me, I'm all about wisdom, I'm all about being happy, I'm all about smiling, motivation, and inspiring people to do great, inspiring people to live their life to the fullest, inspiring people to just be great, you know, honestly, be the best you can be. 
don't worry about anybody you don't worry about the negativity you just focus on yourself this is the time of focusing on yourself don't worry about your insecurities don't worry about how you look just worry about being close to god just worry about how you gonna be the better person that's how you should be treating today this this uh ramadan that's how you should be treating you know mm. love yourself because if you don't love yourself nobody else will and <laughs> uh what else want to talk about you know it's something i want to talk about i was I, I was planning on what i was going to say in this video but i just totally went blank you know i'm just a type of youtuber who don't write anything down i just go off top of the head hop on it and just do it you know freestyle youtuber but yeah man i hope you guys enjoyed today's video man uh, uh ramadan mubarak to every muslim out there and to everybody who's celebrating ramadan who's fasting if you're not a muslim or not hey welcome you know anybody can do it uh if you want to talk about the religion and stuff you can talk to your local mosque leader if you want uh talk to your friends their friends are muslim get to know know about islam because it's a beautiful religion just like judaism and christianity uh, i love it i respect the women i love the women i love the men in there the guys are cool everybody nice peaceful humble uh very wise like honestly these people are very wise uh love talking to them uh, they very humorous. They know how to joke around in a good way. A lot of people joke around in a bad way, cussing and talking about sexual things and stuff. But these people joke around in a good way. Funny as hell, man. I love it. Uh, yeah, man. I'm not the most religious person. But yeah, man. I'm about to wrap this video up. I don't know what else to say. My mind drawing a blank. I'm getting tired, hungry, mouth getting dry. I'm getting cotton mouth. So let me shut up and just rejuvenate myself because this is going to be a long fast because of today this is my second day of fasting second day of ramadan so yeah man it's going well hope it continues to go well i'm gonna continue to pray and the next prayer is like in 30 minutes it's 12 o'clock so the next prayer is like 30 minutes so yeah man hope you guys enjoy it like subscribe share the video around the web find it entertaining or if you like to listen to my voice or something like that i don't know if you like the way i taught uh if i made sense in any in this video i don't know bro but <laughs> yeah but i hope you guys enjoy like subscribe share the video run web fans entertaining i post videos like this or any type of video life video funny videos and yeah man i hope you guys enjoy it i love you guys and i'm out peace